Hi, my name's Shelley. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, and welcome back if you're a dear subscriber or a regular viewer. Um, today's video is me going into more depth about the weeks and the cousin for Hobonichi. Um, it was a requested one, um, so I will try my best. Um, uh, I will go through each book and explain it, and I'll like go more in depth with what's in the planners and like i said i'll try my best um i've been using hobonichi since 2017 um so um I'm, i've seen the change in the weeks um the paper and stuff like that um so i know a little bit but i'm not a professional I don't work for Hobonichi, I'm just doing what I was asked. So please bear with me. Right, first of all, I've got two types of weeks. I've got the Mega. Um, they do come in different colours, different material, um, different patterns. Uh, some of the weeks, um, the normal weeks, as I call it, do come with some like little freebies. You get a pencil board with one. This one, you get a little plastic wallet. Um, some of them, you also get these clear plastic things that go on the front and the back, which make great fly leaves. Um, dashboards, bookmarks, um, pencil boards. They're good for post-it notes to go on as well, um, which um, you can tip in at the front there and then just cut it off at the side. And then you can put your post-it notes on there um, or you can use it as like a bookmark so you can put that on there and then you've got it as a pencil board it does stick out at the side i don't know how well you can see that um let me it does stick out at the side a bit um, so you would have to cut it down, but they are brilliant for that. So the difference with the wheat, oh, you also get a pocket in all of them. I do recommend putting them in the front there because if you put the put it in the back and you have a cover, you will end up covering it up so you won't be able to use it if you put it in the front there like that say and you have a cover you'll cover it up but for the um, for the page marker you will need it in the back for it to sit in there and then to go over like that or to mark a page you will need it in the back i tend to put mine in the back because i use this unless i have a cover on um with this one i won't be putting a cover on because it's shiny material so i don't mind the feel with this one So you get one in each weeks. There's the other one. But in the weeks, let me move this because it'd be distracting. Um, you get the mega and then the normal weeks. Um, in mega, you get a lot more notes pages, hence why it's thicker. So we do the um normal and then i'll show you the notes pages in the other one push it down just a little bit so 
with the weeks it's new paper um they changed it last well for this year um so it's a lot smoother um i didn't really notice much difference between the two papers apart from the fact this one feels a lot smoother um but you've got this year's whole calendar and then important dates down here you got last year's one and then year coming so you got the whole year's worth there i just circle off me personally i circle off birthdays and like really important days that are coming up like weddings coming up and then i just write them down here um apart from the birthdays because i know whose birthday is when so that's what i use that for then you've got your year at a glance pages Put it down a little bit more um move them out of the way i personally use these as trackers periods um what else um like if something happened on a specific day i put it on there but you can use these for anything uh like for your steps um habit trackers it can be used for anything um there isn't a lot of room if you want to use it for like uh upcoming things um unless you shorthand it but that is there and then you've got lines up at the top here um to write stuff in then you go into your monthlies now this one starts in december But I think, yeah, that one starts in December. Um, the monthly start from December. Um, but there is a but with this, and I'll show you when we get onto the weeks. So you, you've got a column down here, and it has the week of what week it is here. You got your month there and the year, and then the weekends are coloured um, in th these ones. It's always grey and red. Red is holidays, which is Japan holidays. So do keep that in mind. Um, it's Japan's holidays, not English American holidays. Um, and then you got four boxes down here with a column which you can use as a tracker um on some months it's missing like the whole bottom bit and you can use it as a habit tracker for the whole month the squares in the cousin is if i do that is four by oh my eyes just went really blurry then one two three four four by four and that is a um size of boxes in all the hobonichis so it goes from december and see what i mean like on february it's got the whole bit there so you could do that as a whole habit tracker so it goes from december and it does tell you when there's a full moon or a new moon but you've got to take in consideration the time difference so the day would be different to everyone else um that's one thing i have learned through um other people 
Right, so it goes through to March 2026. So you can forward plan for the following year from like January, March, uh, February and then March. Then it goes on to the weeks. Now this is where I said the but because it starts at the end of November. It's always the first week of December like the first day of December and the, it's always the last week of November. Um, so you will have like a few days where you won't have a calendar or a monthly calendar in your planner. Um, so what I, I do is I put on here where it's slightly lighter grain because it's the previous month if there's anything that i need to put into these days i just put it on there um so i know what it is i do it in pencil so i can rub it out and then i'm over and dub with it now let's do um yeah as i was saying done to mark uh, no starts in november and then each week, month is on the side. So you've got like November there and then December. And then all the way down, it's the months. So if, right, if your brain's working good, you can go July because you know where the sixth one is or do like count it. Um, this you got the month at the top, the number, and the year, and it tells you what week it is. Then you got a dot there and a dot there, so you can put it into three sections. What I do is I do a line down this bit, and then like the size of that section square along and i can tend to do it by the line and through the page and then that's where i tick off my to do's um let me get get my weeks so i can show you This is what I'm on about. I do two lines and then I use that as my to do's and then my events. Down the bottom, you have a day, a weekly quote, who it's by, and the monthly calendar of the month you're on and the week. On this side, you've got a thicker grey line, well, a darker grey line down. So you can have that section. And then if, as you can see, where the paper's so thin, you can see the lines from the next week through. So if you want to do the whole section along, you can because you can see the lines through. The squares are the same, four by four. Now I, like I said, I, when I'm using it as my everyday planner, I have my events or what's going on, my to-dos, which tend to be my to-dos when I'm going out or I've got like my, I had to hand in my son's hospital letter to the school. And then here I do weather and how I'm feeling and then like the sections here what i have done previously is if i'll find it because they're back here i have done like a um health mood tracker so i've had the three different sections and then i do habit trackers there 
Um, what, what else have I done? I've done events, the weather, mood, and then habit trackers. I've also, let's see, um, another one where it's been the same, meal trackers. I've done it where I've changed it up and I've done it sideways. This was one of my favourites, doing it sideways because it gave me more room down here. Um, yeah, that one I done mills and weather. Sideways again. I absolutely loved doing it sideways. It was different. So it is very versatile. Um... I always start mine at the end of September um, in the back pages because I don't use, I tend to jump into the next planner at the end of September, which I haven't done yet because I haven't been able to set them up. Um, but I always tend to do the same with the line that seems to be my go-to quite a lot so there are it is very versatile um as you can see i'll just put this back on oh, as i'll forget and then i'll lose where i am i love these eye clips so you can change it up um have it that way and that goes from the last week of September to the first half a week of January 2026 um, so that you can start the next one. Um, if you want to, if you don't want to start in November or December, then you can start in January, um, and then you've only got a few pages where they're blank, but you can back plan, which um, is handy. Then you go got these use, use, useful uh, abbreviations. So you got that page. It does come with bookmarks. I do take my bookmarks out or I'll put them down in that bit. You got notes page, which I don't use that. Um, I tend to make my own these two pages as index, but they are the same as this side. So it does have that darker gray line down there. So you can section it off and it is numbered at the bottom and it goes from one to 73 now if i put that there the mega is exactly the same right up to that point apart from it has 216 notes pages You got that and many more. So if you're not much of a notes taker or don't need it for scribbling, then then the normal weeks is the one for you. Then you go into these information pages. So this is a useful way of working out measurements 
Then you have your favourites page, well, pages. And then your My 100s. And then this year you've got simple sim symbols and icons, which you've got loads of different pictures. And then sometimes um, in the past ones they've done recipes, um, but this is information about noodles. And then you've got your 365 days checkoff sheets which could be you could use that for if you're losing want to lose weight um if you're trying to give up smoking um or caffeine coca-cola um this would be handy because at every 10 you've got a diamond so you've got your milestones like and then um, 100 you've got a star so it's all marked off um, so you know when you've got those milestones and then you can give yourself a treat then you have dresses bit and then at the back page you have your information the information about Hobonichi um, Hobonichi uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, oh, it's not called Twitter no more, is it? Um, and then more information about Hobonichi. Your unique code. Every one, every planner has a unique number. They are not the same. No, no one has the same one. And then on the back of this one, you've got a little bit of like, deco with information. So that is the normal weeks, which I call it normal weeks. Um, and then you've got the mega weeks. Everything is the same in both. It's just the notes pages. Um, there's more in the mega, hence why it's thicker. Right. So, with that, we'll move on to the cousin. With the cousin, you have the full year in one book, chunky, or you can get the Avec, where it's two halves, so it's not so chunky. You have the first six months of the year and then second six months of the year. Um, the only difference with that is um, with the Avec, you get a few notes pages in the first half and a few pages in the second half. You can also get this in the A6, but with the A6, you don't have the weeklies you just go from the monthly to the daily pages so you if you want weeklies you will need to buy the add-on um, weekly booklet that goes you can buy with it the cousin um, let me move over that way it is near enough the same as the weeks um, there's just a few differences. You've got your year at a glance calendar, last year, next year. Then you have your um, year at advance habit tracker, um, <clears throat> index. Um, I use this as index if there's something's happened on a specific day then i'll write it down on here in shorthand so i know that on march the 10th i go to march the 10th actually i'll do march this very first 
gone too fast. It's too far. March the 31st, it's my daughter's birthday. So I know that I've wrote something in here that something's happened and then I can go there and remember it. Um, on the cousin, it has three squares. So you can do uh, like an important event that's happening that month. Like say you got a wedding that month or a birthday that month. Um, or a... a task that has to be done or something that's due by then then at the bottom you've got a big square here which you can use for notes doodle photo if you're trying to lose weight and you're tracking that then you can do a photo of what you look like and then the one for the next month and can see it throughout the year um like i said holiday uh weekends are blacked out in their red and gray that's the genetic colors for hobonichi and i love it because it helps me see the weekend without like having to try and go where is it and the measurements of the squares is exactly the same for uh no these ones are five by five yeah five by five in the cousin because it's bigger this is the a5 one so you have two four pages of that and then you go into your monthly and i'll go on to a page that hasn't got anything underneath as with the weeks you got this massive column and then you've got your week what week it is that week then you have a bit down here which you could do as a habit tracker um and then you've got your weekends colored in again um i think they took out the japanese holidays in this one because I didn't see it in, I think that was one of the things that they had changed because I'm not seeing it and normally they're there. So yeah, that is the one thing they have changed um, this year is they haven't marked off in red their holidays because, where's my winks gone? Can't find one. What's it in this one? Ah, uh, right there. The fourth of November. It's red. It means it's a holiday. That's a holiday. So if we go to November, the fourth isn't marked black. Uh, read out and the 23rd well it's on a sunday there um so they have changed that that the um holidays isn't colored out um so that's nice and it same again it goes from december to march 2026 this one does start first week of January um, so it can't be started beforehand unless you use your notes but then like I said you don't have many notes your days are up here you have a little section here that is blank you'll have the week that it is month of calendar with what week you're on you have 
a, calendar, a section down there. Then it goes from 5 a.m. all the way to 4 a.m. Oh. I'm just bearing it a sec. Yeah, that, that hasn't changed. I was just checking to see if that's changed. So you get all the way. To the first week of January for the following year of weeks then you've got your turn into a new page you get two plain um, grid sections which you could do um, like your vision board your goals um, anything on here does have the monthly calendars at the bottom there then at the beginning of every month you have a plain page that you could do your to do's for the month your goals or whatever you want or just um a dashboard for the coming month then you have your month the the months on the side and each month is a different color so you can find like the month by just getting this there um that i tend to use these bits to do the monthly tabs um i don't tend to tab up my weeks just my dailies um but i use these bits at, to my advantage so this is a daily page you've got your the month the day the, and the date and the day and then it's like what the moon phase is then you have five marked out squares here so you can use them as your more um more important to do's or tasks or like how you're feeling that day it's multi-use you can use it how you want now down here you have a section with the hours and then here you have a darkish line so you can have your events there your to do's there and then you have this big section down the bottom here that you can write notes or um, journal here and at the very bottom you get um, a quote for the day and then your month so every day is a different quote or story and that is the same all the way through. The only thing that changes from month to month is the colour. So the whole colour of the page changes. As you can see. Then that goes, as you see, and clear dashboard page then you get to the end of the year then you've got some notes pages so you've got one two three four five six notes pages um so you don't have a lot but that's where your daily pages can come into um you can use these pages for collections um personal information, um, pen testing, um, but I will show you where I do my pen testing. So you've got the timetable page, then you've got a graphs page, um, 
this page is convenient for recording your daily weight or other ongoing changes when you have a certain target in mind. Um, it shows you how you can use like this page for it. Um, I've never personally used this page for it. Um, I use pen testing page, scribbling, whatever. Um, you got your favourites page again. My 100, bigger version of it. Your symbols and icons. And then how to have fun keeping a diary. It's got different information on how to keep your planner and what you can do. Um, I've still got to read that. Then you've got oodles and noodles again. And then words to remember. So you can fill that in. Um, but you can change that up. Um, you don't have to do what it says. So say um, so there's 12 there. So you could do a picture a month, um, a quote a month. You can use it how you want to use it. That's the whole idea of these planners. You do what you want to do with them. Um, and you use them how you want to use them. Don't think because it's a structured planner that you have to do what it says you've got 365 days check off sheet and then getting the most out of your hobonichi um it tells you more information um oh just reading that today i am the year 2020 saw changes in all our lives. We collected pages from people's 2020 techos to look back on the year that will go down in history. And then different information about the techo. Then you've got gifts page. So this could be good for Christmas. Um, so you can write um, if you like buying presents for people because it's got the date to from items and notes and you've got different sections or you can use it for people when they've bought you something um for you to remember what they bought you and then you can say like if you've sent them a card or something addresses and then personal notes and then the same and unique code um shows how big it is like how many has been sold and then you've got your back page um you don't get a pocket with this one but you can get a cover um mine's a lawrence phelps designs one but you can buy a clear cover from hobonichi to go on there you can also buy a cover on cover, um, so it keeps it neater. The side, there's no year, only on the front there. But you can see the binding of the book where it's done with um, string. These do get chunky if you use stickers. But no matter how chunky it gets, it, the spine does not break. Like, you can fold it over like that. And it's not going to make a difference. So when it gets really chunky, you can fold it over. Um, I don't personally do that with my books. That's the first time I've ever, ever folded my book over but it's to show you that it can be done um i do tend to find when i've got like so far through the book and it's starting to bulge like that then i kind of give up on using it um but i have seen plenty of people use it and then just fold it over and it's like yep yeah, i'm gonna try that the dishes one and not give up um 
there is but now where i've done that it's i yeah where i've bent the spine now it's like that that's okay it's fine um you don't get bookmarks with this one um so you need to use page flags pencil board or if you um want to you can buy the bigger version of this um which goes in the back the same as the weights one you put it there and then you can put it over there to keep it closed or to find a bookmark a page so they do sell these for the cousin as well uh what else um uh these are a monday start um so it's the week's monday start which i love because in the way i've been brought up monday's the beginning of the week um so when things are on a sunday it kind of confuses my brain um and then i go all backwards and then I get so con confused with it but that is the best way I can explain the cousin and the weeks for you um I did have an A6 Hon for this year haven't used it um hence why I didn't get one again this year uh the only Bound kind of book I will use that's hard is the weeks. Um, I don't know why I can't use it in other sizes, but I can in the weeks. I'm not sure. I think it's because it's smaller, more hand size. Um, I haven't used the day free, so I can't like say what that's like i haven't used the five year one um the original techo um the black one with the gold writing down there i did have that many many moons ago um i used that as a daily journal for when um i was writing at night time um like my thoughts and that uh, but that is literally a day per page there's no weeklies in there or anything like that um and i like that but i don't journal at night time anymore um so i don't see the point of buying that so i can't really give you um a show with that one um what's the other ones just trying to think what other ones there are um there's a fives a sixes and then the weeks um i personally only use the weeks and the cousin um the cousin i flip flop with um i'm in and out of it i get i tried it with the a6 but i like my weeks i i use the weeks more than i use the daily pages i just use daily pages um to write down now and again um if something's happened um i was trying to do it um as like my strategy um where i do my daily planning and that i was trying to do that in here so i wasn't using my strategy i was just using the one book um and yeah it it doesn't work for me i can't do this um to me it feels too squashed up um i don't need to put the events there because i have them on my weekly so i was doing my to-dos for that day 
um, but I use it more to write like here. Um, I got to see my granddaughter on FaceTime. Um, so I write down on here like memory stuff because I use the cousin as a <clears throat> memory keeper for me. Um, like my son, I've got a finished writing in there my son got two stickers for being really good in school um and then my pass for when Oscar went to go and meet his teacher for the first time so I use it as a memory keeper and yeah I'm not bothered about not writing in it every day um I don't personally see it as wasting pages or like I don't fret over the fact that I haven't written that on that day um, because clearly nothing happened that day that it was noteworthy um, but if there was and I haven't written it I will back, go back and write on it um, because it will be here or it be my strategy um, so I can back plan I can't live without my week, uh, the weeks because it's there all in front of me. Um, with my strategy, it's one page at a time, so it's not in front of me. My weeks, there's only so much I can put in there. Um, This is the only downfall. Unless you've got tiny writing, there is only so much you can put in a box. So I like the cousin because it's there. It's all in my face the whole week. And I can see what I've got coming up. I don't have to flip through... Um, like today's thursday if i want to know what's going on saturday i've got to turn the page i could easily do a this week and then a week on one page and then see um but then that's more palaver so yes it is structured um they are all very structured on the way they are laid out but you can make them how you want to. Um, I've seen other planner people do it where they've done it sideways. Um, they've sectioned off and done it that way instead of down this way. Um, I personally don't do it in my cousin. Um, I do it in my weeks. Um, but I don't do it in my cousin. I'm quite happy with the um, vertical rather than horizontal. Um, down the side, you can use it as um, your tracker bar. So it is, it is very versatile. Um, you, if you prefer a Sunday start, you can start on Sunday don't have to have it for the day that it says because you can cover it up with stickers so don't think that you have to do it how it says <clears throat> because it's printed out this way and everybody else does it that way doesn't mean you have to you make these books the way you want to you make the book work for you um well the planner work for you you don't work for the planner the planner works for you and like i've said they're very versatile um they even though it's a nice chunky planner it's quite light 
it won't be once it gets full of stickers i do warn you it gets very heavy um and i appreciate big chunky planners where like they're like out here and massive see now that's this is why i don't bend my books because of that it's going to drive me up the wall now. <laughs> um, but I get, it starts getting chunky and it starts getting heavy and then it doesn't feel like it's hand, like I can hold it in my hands. It's a bit like that. Um, but my goal for next year is to persevere with it and not give up and go oh it's got too chunky for me i can't it's like too heavy i am persevering with it and i am determined to try try and use every page um of the dailies and each week will it happen will it heck <laughs> i know me um, and I know that I will fall off and then I'll come back and then I'll fall off and then I'll come back. Um, but that is the good thing about these books. It doesn't matter how many times you fall off of these books. You can always go back to it. Um, so, yeah. Um, that is my little... Um, hopefully helpful information on Hobonichi and these specific planners. Like I said, I can't help you with the other ones because I don't have them and I don't have any at hand of ones that I had because they're stored away. Um, but if you're still oohing and ahhing, um, just buy it and try it you can't turn around and say no unless you try it you can't experience it unless you try it um you can find um uh on the internet this layout um and then print it off and then just try it for the week um to see if you get on with this the way this is and the layout but you're not going to experience the feel of the paper how it writes on and that um unless you get the actual planner but i like i always say um don't say you don't like something unless you've tried it and you can't experience or say, no, I don't like Hobonichi unless you've tried it. So just try it. Um, even if it's just this normal one, it's nice, light, small, and they are cheap. Um, they're cheaper than some. They're not cheaper than like the generic shops, like, um, target is it that you would buy them from in the um, US here in the UK it would be WH Smith's the bookshop um, they're not the same because it's not the same paper um, but I'd say just try it and see how you get on if you don't like it just put it to the side try again um, and then if you haven't liked it throughout the year, then you know that Hobonich is not for you. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, tiredness is starting to kick in because I had no sleep. And as you can see, it's 10 o'clock and I had no sleep last night, thanks to my son. And I've come in and filmed and I have been filming for 54 minutes now. So that is my cue to go. Um, 
if you have any questions please comment don't forget to like subscribe and comment it really does help my channel um to get out there um i hope this was helpful and an information for you as i said if you've got a question just ask me and if i don't know i'll try and find out for you so i'll see you on the next one bye